Low-carb diets are in vogue. Ketogenic diets are commonplace now, okay? Keto-friendly stuff in the grocery store. First of all, is it really keto-friendly? How do you know? You think it's been tested? Don't be so sure. Just because it says it's keto-friendly doesn't mean it is. But let's say you're doing your own ketogenic diet at home. You're actually making the food yourself and you know what you're eating. What's going on is that that fat is priming that insulin response, but because there's no carbohydrate, you don't release it. It's there, but it's saved up for a rainy day. And then you have that slice of pizza and you break your diet. What's gonna happen? Well, you're gonna get this big glucose response because your liver is not gonna basically uh, absorb any of the glucose because it, the transporters have gone down. So it's all gonna flood your uh, bloodstream. Your beta cell is gonna see a higher glucose response because your, the rest of your body has learned to run on ketones instead of glucose. So you're not even going to be shoveling glucose into cells. And so you're gonna get a bigger glucose response Therefore, you're gonna get a bigger insulin response because your beta cells have all of this insulin stored up, waiting to go, because it hasn't been called on in weeks and weeks. And so you're gonna get this glucose insulin explosion just because you broke the diet. And that is gonna drive virtually all that glucose into fat, and it's gonna undo that ketogenic diet in one meal. And people who fall out of the ketogenic diet now are not getting the benefits of low carbohydrate anymore. And the reason is because their insulin's gone up. Now they're on a high fat, medium carbohydrate diet with insulin, which is about the worst diet you can be on. So if you're gonna do a ketogenic diet, you have to actually be pretty fastidious about it. I'm for it, I'm not against it, but you can't just play ketogenic, you have to do it.